Hey guys. Um, so I just wanted to do a quick little video because I look so fabulous right now. But um, so today is Saturday, uh, April 20th, and we, we, uh, myself, Chelsea, and Michelle, we're going to drive up to the little LNS in Corvallis just kind of for a little stitchy. Tomorrow's Easter, so we weren't going to get together on our usual Sundays. Um, and Chelsea was like, I can't, <laughs> I can't not see you guys for two weeks. Like, it's crazy. Um, and so we are going to drive up there, uh, and Michelle, Michelle forgot that her daughter was doing a Easter egg hunt this morning at 10. So she messaged us and she was like, oh my gosh, you guys, I'm such an a-hole. Like, I can't believe I forgot about this. So she was like, you guys still go for sure. And so I was like, Chelsea, like, I'm totally still down if you are, blah, blah, blah. And she was like, oh, I am pumped. So I'm just waiting outside my house right now for her um she's just amazing uh and so yeah but I just wanted to kind of you know I'm gonna be taking pictures and stuff it's gonna be nowhere like the retreat obviously um but I just kind of wanted to take you guys along and um I'll show you around the shop um it's called Starlight Stitchery Michelle has been there before and I think she did um a video I think maybe she did like an Instagram story or something um, and she met a couple other stitchers up there. One of them was Aubrey, um, uh, Stitchy Witch 42. Um, and I can't remember. I think that was the only other stitcher that I, like, knew of. Um, you guys, I look gross today. It was a long week at work, even though it was only four days for me. Because I wasn't in on Monday because I was, um, decompressing from the retreat. Um, it was a long week at work. Um, <clears throat> it was good. It was a good long. Do you know what I mean? But it was like, it was just still like a long week at work. Um, and you can tell from my appearance. Um, I did get new glasses. Fancy. Mm -hmm. They're so like stylish. Elena B would be so happy for me because they're so stylish and she's so stylish. Um, okay. What else? I'm looking for a couple things there. I'm looking for um, some fabric and floss to start um, All Souls. All Souls Verlanden. Um, I bought this. I was totally enabled to buy this by Elena, um, who is my past future roommate. Um... She was stitching on it at the retreat, and I just, like, totally fell in love with it. Seeing it, it's, that's why it's such a real thing, you guys. Like, seeing something in person is totally awesome. Um, so, yeah, I want to get, so I'm thinking a, like, a, a variegated, or not variegated, a marbled gray fabric with variegated, variegated green flosses, because I really like those colors. Um... And then I actually think I might take one of the motifs out of there and stitch it for my Stitchers Coven Smalls project. Um, I was going to do, I'm about uh, a quarter of the way done with one of the little Prairie Schooler squares. Um, but I'm just like really into this chart right now. Um, so if I do that, then I might get um, like some marble red fabric or make it my myself um and then stitch it in like a black or um some something else um and then what else I don't really need any chart like I'm not going to look for charts um I also don't necessarily need to get floss or fabric like I have enough in my stash where if I wanted to dye um fabric like the perfect gray color I do have I have fabric to dye. Um, I actually am going to try to dye my own floss. Um, I bought a bunch of white floss at Joanne's the other day just to like try it and see how it is. I mean, it can't be, <laughs> if I have all the dye out anyways, might as well try it, right? So, um, yeah. Um, uh, but anyways, that is what we're doing this morning. So I will take you guys... Um, along with us, I'll pop in here and there to say hi, um, 
I'll probably post some stuff on my Instagram story too, but um, I just wanted to take you guys along for this week's video. Okay, Ooh, I'm so excited. Bye guys. <laughs>
Wasn't feeling it. Um, so, I will get to my Lord of the Rings sampler. This was the first one that I stitched on. I stitched on this for the vast majority of Saturday. Or, Friday. I'm sorry. So, I will try to put in a picture of where I was. I think I just had the border done. So, I did what I was able to put in some of the alphabet. I am one row off, I noticed. Um... Thankfully, there is some space down here where I have a row to give, um, and so I'll I'll be okay. Um, I think I accidentally did three rows down instead of two rows down right here at the top of the H, but it's fine. I mean, it looks fine. I don't I don't care. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy. I'm really happy with those colors too. They look a little washed out, but um, I think those colors are really pretty. Okay, and then I stitched a ton on Dumbo, and I will insert a picture of where Dumbo was right here, so you guys can see it. Um, so here is the progress that I got on Dumbo. I freaking hauled, guys. Um, so I got all this dark blue in here, um, the pink over here, I think... A little bit down here too um, so I am really excited about how this is coming along uh, now I really just want to go stitch on it and I want to finish it because I don't have too much more like I literally just have to fill in right here um, and this is like all one color it's just big blocks of color now I needed to do the pink and the dark because the colors that are oh yes can you even see that so I needed to do the dark right here and the pink and then down here as well because the colors that fill in right here are the kind of weird combo colors, blended colors. So I wanted a really good, like, just stitch this, <laughs> you know, kind of a thing. Um, but I'm really excited about how this is turning out. I'm, I'm in love with it. The more I stitch on it, the more I'm like, okay, I do really love this piece. And as much as the flosses are freaking ridiculous, um, you can see the gradient at the bottom right here. So like right there. So this is the blended and then there's a layer of this other blue and then the dark blue. Like, I mean, it looks, it's going to look really good. So as insane as it was on my eyes, like it's going to look really cute and I'm really excited. Um, so that is how far I got with that. Um, and like I said, those are really the only two that I stitched on for the most part. I mean, you do, you do a lot of talking, you do a lot of, you know, just seeing what everybody else is stitching on that you don't really, you know, and some people do, they go like balls to the wall and they finish shit, but I'm not one of those people. So, um, okay. So I did start two things once I got back. Um, I started on my Stitch Nanigans piece. Which I am stitching on this gorgeous orange. I got that far. And I'm stitching that with um, Peanut Brittle in Classic Color Works. And then I started Fate. Um, and I did end up picking Oatmeal to stitch the... Oh, why is it so... Bleh, oatmeal. So I did end up picking that one to do the border in. And this, I think, is going to be my new travel piece. And so that's how far I got. On that and this I'm doing it on a fabric that I dyed myself um, I don't know blackberry that's what I'll call it sure sounds great <laughs> so I'm excited about this one and I'm it's on a 28 count so I'm doing it over two um, uh, two over two I because I do like the look of coverage um, okay so now purchases so I I bought some stuff. <clears throat> we'll say that. Um, and again, I didn't need anything. I just wanted it. Um, so I am, along with Elena, my future past roommate, um, only because I think she said she actually has to start it over because she um, counted wrong. Um, we are going to stitch, well, we're both going to start it. It's not, I don't know if it's going to be like an actual, like official sal, but, um, we're going to do All Souls for Landon. And it's by Quiltify Design. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous chart. I, um, 
yeah, the motifs on it are gorgeous. So I am stitching it on some fabric that I dyed myself. It's a gray marbled. And I am going to stitch it. You ready for this? Paris green mofos. Look at that shiz. Y'all, it's going to be like, I, okay, so here's the deal. I wanted it to look like acid. I wanted it to look like Halloween-y, creepy, gross, gothic, toxic waste. And then I stumbled upon eight skeins of, of Weeks Dye Works Paris Green. And I was like, and this uh, this is one of the things I bought at Starlight Citry. Uh, and I was like, yes, you guys, like I, ha I have to. Um, and I, I showed Chelsea, I was like, Chelsea, I go for reals. Like, what do you, what do you think about this color? And she goes, is it for all souls? And I, I was like, yeah. And she goes, yeah, it'd be fucking epic. So I was like, all right, let's do it. So Paris green, I want to like get some shade, but whatever. It's going to be stunning. Like I'm so freaking pumped. Um, it's bright. Like, I mean, it's a bright green, but I think the the darkness of the gray is it's gonna make it pop and so you're gonna see like it's it's gonna be like an eye like trippiness but like that's what I want like I want it to be like a creepy like ugh, Halloween you know like I said like toxic waste looking I'm I'm pumped you guys I'm so you guys are like you're weird I'm pumped for it so I'm excited. I got that. So I, the fabric is just, it needs to be done drying and then we'll be good to go for that. Um, okay. So some other flosses that I got, um, and these were just ones because I really liked them. I thought, I thought they were pretty, um, I would use them. Um, I got some weak style works in Bayberry and thankfully a lot of the dye lots were similar. So I'm so sorry you guys. It's like, really bright outside but these aren't as bright as like yeah I don't know whatever you guys can see you guys all are probably like oh yeah baby right mm, we know that one um then I got green pasture and these dye lots are similar they're not exactly the same but they'll do they look the same um, then I got Deep Sea. I basically just got like two skeins of everything. Except Paris Green. <laughs> I got eight. Uh, Raven. I was in love with this one. It's like a green black. It's like stunning. Oh my gosh. So I want to get some like primitive linen and stitch something with that. Because that's going to be gorgeous. Then I got Current. Like a red Current. And Buckeye Scarlet. So my plan with the Buckeye Scarlet is to, I might actually, my plan is to maybe change up my Smalls swap for Stitcher's Coven. And so I, um, like I said, I dyed three different pieces. Hold on. Husbands are just the worst, aren't they? Anyways, so my plan is to switch my Stitcher's Coven Smalls Swap Exchange. Um, I was gonna, I was doing one of those little prairie schooler squares, which I still love, and I'm, I'll probably just finish this because I think it's cute. But I was thinking of switching it to a piece of the gray fabric with something like Buckeye Stitcher, or Buckeye Stitcher, <laughs> Buckeye Stitcher, shout out for you, um, Buckeye Scarlet, <laughs> um, to do one of the motifs of All Souls, um, because they're really pretty and gothic and I love them forever. Um, okay, so that was my floss. <clears throat> then, I did get some patterns, because of course. Um, alright, so, I didn't need any of these, you guys. This is, like, legit. Um, so I just got that Prairie Schooler Santa, because I love it. It's just a little you know, sewing machine one. It's super cute. So I got that. And then I had never seen this one before, but it's Little House Needleworks Moon and Stars. Um, which I thought was so cute, right? So I'm excited to do that one too, because I had never seen that one before. 
Um, then I saw this super cute tiny modernist um, book lover motifs. So there's all of those in there. Aren't they so cute? I'm so excited for this, you guys. Like, put them on some bookmarks or something. It'd be so freaking cute. Um, then I found, actually Chelsea found this one that I really liked. Um, a Quaker Halloween sampler. Now I'm like buying up all the samplers, guys. Um, there, I know that there is like a, a Halloween, Quaker, a Quaker Halloween. A, I can't remember. Um, Michelle has it. Uh, I think she's stitching it right now. But I, I liked that one. I always thought it was pretty, but I never really like wanted to purchase it. But this one, I love the motifs on. I don't know why. I don't know if it's like more square, more symmetrical-esque. I don't know, but I'm really excited to stitch that one. And that's a chair of stitches. Yeah. Super cute. Uh, then I found um, from Homespun Elegance um, the Stitcher 2. It looks like that, which I thought was so cute. I'm excited about that one. Then I had never seen this one from Carrot Chow Samplings. It's called Comfort Lighthouse. Adorable. I love it. And the sails are stitched, if you can see. But I thought that was so cute. I've never seen that before. And even if you just wanted to stitch, like, the mermaid or the lighthouse or the crab, like, you can. And they're super cute motifs. So. And then, you guys. Do you remember how I said when I was at the attic, they only had, like, one of five different charts that I really wanted. This was one of them, y'all. And they had it. It's called The Earth is a Feast. The sentiment is lovely. The Earth is a feast for the eyes that waits for us to be seated. It's by My Lady's Needle. I was so pumped, you guys, when I found it. I literally did like a, ah! in the shop. It was louder than that, but... I did a little squeal, and Chelsea was like, what's wrong? And I was like, nothing, nothing, but this is the one that I was looking for, and so I was, like, super excited when I found this, um, because I was like, okay, that's one that I literally, I've been continuing to think about after the retreat, like, I really want that chart, and I didn't know what it was called. I just knew it was my lady's needle, um, so super pumped about that. Um, okay, the next video you guys will see is the results from my dye lot stuff. Um, and I'm planning on doing it tomorrow night, so hopefully I will get some stitching in tomorrow. Tomorrow's Easter. Um, we're going to go over to my in-law's house? I don't know. I don't know what our plan is. Um, so hopefully I will have at least a start on either All Souls or my swap gift um because I'm really pumped about that um and I'll show you guys what I created um like I said two of them are are they're kind of fugly I'm not gonna lie they're like maybe I'll have like a fugly Friday I don't know sale or something in the shop where all my experiment pieces can go <laughs> That'd be great. Um, all right. I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a wonderful day and a happy Easter. Uh, if you, cause you guys won't see this until like Sunday night. So, um, yeah. All right. Talk to you guys later. Bye. It's Emmy. Um, welcome back. Um, you guys are just seeing this right after my other video, but it's been a whole 24 hours. Um, so it is Easter Sunday. Happy Easter. If you celebrate Easter, um, happy Ostara if you celebrate Ostara, happy springtime, uh, whatever tickles your fancy. Um, so I just wanted to come back on really quick. I actually kind of like this way of doing videos of like just doing like little updates every day. So I don't feel like one day I'm just like talking over and over, you know, like all the time. So I might see if that, if this sticks a little bit. Um, I had just gotten into the habit of doing videos just kind of like in one, you know, one swoop. Um, because I haven't, I haven't, I don't really stitch every day. Um, but actually Chelsea and I were talking about this on the way home yesterday. Um, my mania plan 
I don't have a lot of mania plans, but mainly my only one, <laughs> um, is that I'm going to try to stitch at least three times a week. And for me, that's a lot, to be quite honest with you. Um, during the week, depending on different situations, I have homework, I, you know, just am not feeling it, whatever it is. So, um, yeah, my plan is to stitch at least three times a week. Um, and that, okay, to stitch three days a week, not times. Because there are times when, like, I'll pick up something, you know, on a Saturday and then put it down and then pick it back up. That doesn't count. Three days out of the week. Um, and see how I go. Because I love, I love stitching. And I love the way I feel after I get done stitching. I just don't, like, make myself stitch, if that makes sense. So we'll see. That might be a, an, another way to just kind of ease into this, like, you know, check in daily and then spice them all together kind of thing. Um, so I wanted to pop on and show you guys my dyed fabric, um, because I want to show you guys my choices for all souls. What did I put on my green? Oh, there it is. Didn't lose it. Um, okay, so I'll start with the floss. So I dyed three different colors. Um, my first one was just the gray that I was using. I think it is the Rit Pearl Gray, um, and this is how it turned out. So I dyed three skeins of it, and this one isn't variegated. I just wanted to see kind of how the, the dye would stay, um, and I'll be honest, like, it's, it's a really pretty color. Um, I like it a lot. It's... I let the, all the floss air, well, I let everything air dry, but I let the floss air dry. Um, it's a little bit stiff, uh, but not anything that would be, like, unusable, you know? So, yeah. So, I think it's a really pretty color. That's actually a really pretty true color, what's showing up. Um, maybe a little bit darker, but for the most part, that's it. So, I really like that color. Um, I am definitely like an earth tone, jewel tony kind of person. Um, so the next one I did, I did variegate a little bit. I variegated um, light greens and dark greens. And I did three skeins of this. And that's what that looks like. So you can kind of see the dark variegation. I used... Um, emerald green and then so I mixed up emerald green dyed it emerald green we using a dropper um, and then I just added some yellow to the dye that I already had that might be in kind of a better yeah so all those dark spots like right here that that's just a really dark green so I'm excited to use this one too obviously um, I am gonna bobinate them just because I took them out of their you can still like see this gain, but I took them out of their shells. I don't even know. Um, so the last one that I did, I variegated with a green, a blue, and a purple. Um, and I actually really like how this turned out. It's it's really cool looking. I don't know. I, for an experiment, it was a success. I think it's very peacocky. Those are the, it's a cocky floss. <laughs> um, it's, yeah, but, and those are the, those are pretty true colors. But, yeah, I really liked it. Um, next time I would probably start with, I think I started with the purple. I think I'd probably start with the green. Um, and go lightest to darkest. I think that's how you're supposed to do it, but I just had the green out, or the purple out. So yeah, so those are, all, obviously you can tell they're all from the same <laughs> dye lot, but yeah, so those are my three flosses that I dyed. Um, so I'll start with the two, the two pieces of fabric that are a little, they're a little odd. And I do, okay, and here's the thing. I love all these colors, and I love the marbling that it that they turned out to be. I just don't know if 
it's maybe I think they just maybe needed to be monochromatic but I don't know we'll see so that's the first one and I did did like a um what was it green to purple blue kind of a thing so and it's like a green gray in the middle there um so I don't know we'll see <laughs> Uh, the next one is definitely more green gray than color, but it actually created some really pretty like shapes. Um, if you can see the little spots of color. I may just go back and dye. Oh yeah, and then on this side you can see it better. It created like these little blue veins, which I thought were freaking sweet. Um, so I don't know, I may just go back and like dye this all gray and do just like a, a, a marbled gray. Um, this one I think I may just keep like this because I don't know, I, I don't know, I really like all of like this up here, like you get all three colors, I don't know, so we'll see. We'll ponder it a little bit. But this one definitely wasn't what I was thinking it was going to be. Um, so I will probably re-dye this one, which is fine. I don't, I like dyeing. Um, the next ones were the marble gray. So at least one of these um, will be up in the shop. I believe it will be this one. If that's, if the count is right that I'm seeing. Um, so it's a, it's a pretty true marble. Um, don't ask me how I got it that way, because I don't know. But this is a 16 count, I believe. Just a white Ada. So this one will definitely be up in the shop. Uh, this one might be a smaller piece up in the shop. This is an 18 count. There's a little spot of blue down there. I don't know how that got there. but So that's definitely a little bit more... You kind of see it. There's almost like a rippled effect, which is really cool. And then, last but not least, this is what I'm doing All Souls on. Dun, 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 dun. So All Souls for Landon will be on this. And this is a 22 count heart anchor. And like I showed you guys yesterday... This is the floss. It's Paris green. It's a weak star works. Well, bam. It's not gonna look freaking sweet. I'm I'm excited. Even if you're like, I mean, that looks hideous. I'm pumped. So, sorry. <laughs> but yeah, so that's a, that's the that's the colorway. It's gonna be. Um, I'm excited. I am excited that that is literally the color and the fabric that I wanted for it. Um, and I'm excited that I was able to like produce that. That was really cool. Um, and just so you guys know, all of these, all of the colors were made with the powder dye. So not the liquid. I have three things of the liquid dye. I have the blue, the yellow, and the red. But I had some gray, um, Kelly green, and a purple um, boxed, like the powder dye that I hadn't used. And I was like, all right, well, I'll just use that. Um, so all of these were done with that. And I can't tell the difference um, between powdered and the liquid dye. So if you got one, you got the other one, I guess. So um, yeah, so my plan... Um, the magical, one of the magical stitches homework is that we have to stitch 300 coming up for this next week is that we have to stitch 300 stitches in green. So my plan is to start all souls and stitch my 300 in green. Um, and then I can't remember the other one. I'll think of it. But for this past week, um, I am counting... My Lord of the Rings sampler as my quill shop because it's letters. Uh, and then my Dumbo was going to be... 
Uh, I think my Dumbo, I was going to do it as a, as the joke shop because of the circus. And then my clothing was going to be fate if I finish. Um, cause I think you have to do 250, 250 stitches on it. I got that with the Dumbo. I got that with my sampler. I think maybe I'm a little short on the sampler, but, um, I was planning on finishing them tonight anyways. So, um, yeah, so those are my plans coming forward for the week. Um, and yeah, I may, I may do this new kind of vlog esque style, um, because I do like it. I think it's fun. So, um, anyways, hope you guys have a wonderful week and super happy stitching and I will check in with you guys next week. Um, have a great week. Bye guys. Hi guys. Um, so I just want to do a quick little update. I still have my stuff from when Chelsea and I went to um, Starlight Citry. Um, I figured I would just kind of put it in like a week long video and you know, because I didn't do a ton of stitching. I had some homework this week. So, um, but I just want to show you guys a couple things. Um, so I, <sighs> I had a finish. I was very excited about it. And then I got less excited um, because my grid lines won't come out. Um, I used pencil. I've used pencil before. Um, I think because this was one of my oldest whips, um, the it almost like dyed the fabric. So we're gonna we're gonna do some experimenting. Um, I haven't done the back stitching yet. Um, but I finished Dumbo. Isn't it so cute? So yeah, so my grid lines won't come out. Um, this is literally after being washed in the washing machine. Twice. I let it soak. Nothing. Um, so what I think I'm going to do, you can kind of see the lines that are, you know, like part of the design. If it really doesn't come out, um, I, I know Clouds Factory has like a little Dumbo, um, you know, figurine, uh, little stitch. So I might just end up just like doing that or something and like still taking this to like finishing it, like back stitching it, taking it to him and be like, this is what I did stitch for you. <laughs> but obviously it didn't work. Um, so I'm so bummed, you guys, because I was, like, so excited for that. So cute, right? Mm. Um, I really do love this chart, though. Um, in the future, I would definitely do it differently. Um, like, I literally, this was, this was one of my first pieces that I started. I, this was, like, number three or four that I started. So, I didn't really think about looking at the floss and where they are and what it would be easy to stitch so I literally just started from top and went down um in the future I would just stitch it a little bit differently um because like I said this outer ring of floss was the blended floss and it was so difficult to stitch but anyways, there's my Dumbo. He's so cute. I, I really do love him. And honestly, like, even if I don't end up giving this to my friends, um, I'm still going to backstitch it and, like, keep it. Because he's just so, I mean, it's so cute. So cute. Um, so that was my finish. So that was exciting. Not, um, like, fully, fully finished. Like, I'm calling that a finish. And then backstitch will be, like, finished finished or like fully finished and then FFO will be like a fully fully finished object that's what we're gonna do <laughs> um so I busted that out this week and then I literally spent like three days I think I finished it on Monday or Tuesday I can't remember I think Tuesday and then I literally spent Wednesday Thursday Friday and Saturday today's Sunday trying to get the stupid grid lines out. But anyways, um, I also got some progress done on All Souls. That's about, 
um, about 200. <laughs> oh, excuse me. About 200 stitches in. And I love it, you guys. Um, it's kind of hard to see in the video. Um, but the little motifs are just, like, they're so subtle. Um, so this is, is like, gonna be a skull. Oh, sorry, you guys can't see that one. So this, right here, this is the bottom of one of the skulls. Um, so I like that you do kind of have to look really close to be like, oh, those are little baby skulls, and then there's little motifs. Um, it's, like, this is gonna be, like, an eye, like, ugh, an eyesore, but, like, you guys, I'm so freaking excited. I love it. Like, I absolutely love it. I love that it's kind of hard to see. I love that you have to get close to it. Um, yeah, I'm just pumped. I'm really excited. Once I think I finish the first motif, I think it's going to, like, be real, you know? That sounds really weird, but anyways. So that's some stitching on that. Um, that's really all the stitching I got. Like I said, I had some homework done, or homework due, um, that I had to watch some movies, but it was movies that, like, I had to take notes to, um, because then we kind of had to, like, answer some questions. Um, let's see. I did, I am trying to start to, like, organize some stuff in my craft room. It's getting a little messy. Um, but I did have some finishes a while ago that I forgot to share with you, um, for the shop. So I have three new grime guards to put in there. Um, one is, like, a patriotic... You guys can see that. Oh, it's elastic. And then one is like old school Disney. That's uh, like supposed to be like kind of I think like the original like movie covers and stuff. It's upside down. Oops. And then one is Winnie the Pooh. Yay! I love this one. This one's super cute. Sleeping poo. Um, and then I have two project bags with Graham guards. Um, so this is a small um, one, and so it is. Let's see, it's like a. I think it's a 12 by 12 project bag, and it has a 6 by 6 Graham guard out of the same fabric. It's the London gal. Um, oh, so the Grime Guards, I can't remember how much they are. Oh, look. You guys, I'm so good at this, aren't I? Um, I'm not sure exactly how much I'm going to sell these for. Um, probably about, I don't know, for the both of them, like 30, 35? I don't know. I did use the thick vinyl on both of them, um, so they'll stand up a little longer, but, so that's one. And then I made, this one is, yeah, this one's like a 13 by 13. It's like little lunch, lunch stuff, and that has a matching 8 by 8 Grime guard in it. I think this is gonna be either the 12 by 12 or the 13 by 13. It's gonna be probably the standard size. Um, I do like the 12 by 12 just because it's obviously it's a little bit smaller, but I also really like the contrasting. Um, so I might start doing that because I love. I mean, like I love the, you know, like the printed fabrics. Um. But I also think sometimes it just gets lost, you know, um, versus it really makes it pop. <sighs> you guys, it's Sunday today. I can, it's, I can tell, I can tell. So I think I really like the contrasting of the color versus that. And I mean, it, it makes it so that I can make more of these, right? Because I'm only using one. Um, so hopefully I will have those up in the shop, um, this week sometime. I need to take some pictures, 
Um, I believe I at least have two of each of these new ones. Um, they're all 8 by 8s right now. I don't have any other sizes or anything like that just because um, that's easy right now. It's easy to do an 8x8 eight eight, um, with a half a yard of fabric. Uh, so that's why I do that. <laughs> um, anyway, yeah, I will probably end it this week for the video. Um, oh wait, mania plans. So this. Um, so I I have mania plans, but I don't have mania plans. So my mania plans are to stitch at least three times a week. Um, last year I, I don't know what I was thinking last year, honestly. I had like all these plans. I was going to start something every day. I don't know why I'm so tired, you guys. I've had like three cups of coffee today. Anyways. Um, maybe I just need a nap. <laughs> um, so yeah, last year I had all these plans. But like, I just... It gets overwhelming. Because my thing was like, okay, once I didn't do one day, um, then it was like it was over. Um, so my thing this May uh, for Mania is that I am just going to keep track um, in my planner um, when I stitch. And my goal is to stitch three times a week. Um, for me, I, I really enjoy stitching. It's something that really helps me. I can do it with my husband. Um, you know, like when he's done watching TV or, or we're watching TV together, I can stitch. Versus like me being up here in my craft room or, you know, like whatever. So it's something that I, we can do together. Um, and it's something that really does, like it relaxes me. It's totally a form of self-care for me. Um, and so I want to try to do it more often. Um, I don't think every day is an achievable goal for me just because like I do have school. Um, and, you know, there are days where even after like doing homework or something like stitchings, like I just, I want to veg. <laughs> um, so I think right now three times a week is going to be really, is going to be really good for me. Um, I hope, and, and not three times a week, like three days a week. Um, and my goal is to have two eyes, <laughs> we grow sleepy. Um, my goal is to have like, two of those days at least be not weekend days, like throughout the week, because that's when I get stressed, right? If that's when work and school and everything is. So um, two days a week, my hope is to have them Monday through Friday. And then like, I know I always stitch on Sunday. And so that's like an easy, okay, it's at least one day. Sometimes I stitch on Saturday and sometimes I don't. Um, so, it, you know, it's, it's one of those like, that's usually the day that we try to like get housework done, work in the yard, that kind of stuff. So that Sunday can just kind of be like a veg day for us. Um, and so there are some Saturdays that I don't end up stitching, which is totally fine. Um, so yeah, so I want to try to have a little bit more. And then, I mean, my hope would, would be to be able to pick something up, you know, majority of the week, four or five times a week. Um, but we're going to start with three this time. Um, next week, um, Michelle and Chelsea and I are going to go up to Acorns because it's the first Sunday of the month. So we're going to go up there, um, and just have a little field trip. I am not going to buy anything because I don't freaking need anything. Um, and so I'm just going to go up there, bring some, bring some stitchy stuff. I might bring some new starts to work on. Um, I haven't started anything yet. Um, All Souls is the last thing I started and I'm really enjoying this. So I might just keep on going. Um, but I did get some other little, um, some little ones that I want to, I want to start. I want to have some whips. I need to go through my whips and look at ones that I really enjoy stitching and ones I don't. Um, now I have enough charts that I really enjoy, uh, that I really enjoy looking at. And I have a pretty big variation of, of, you know, big projects, small projects. Um, that I feel like if I'm not going to stitch it, I don't want to stitch it. And you like, maybe I'll, you know, send it out and adopt a whip or something. But like, there's some that I'm just like, Meh, I'm not feeling it anymore. And that I felt that way for a while. Like there's some in here that like, it's kind of meh, whatever. 
Um, I also need to go through and look at the ones that I freaking charted in pencil, that I gridded in pencil, and restart those. Well, I need to wash them. I need to like try to wash them all and see see how it goes. But that's another story, another saga. Um, Michelle was freaking amazing this morning. She um, donated all of her writ to me, her writ die. Um, so hopefully I can, my payment to her is just going to be, if she needs something dyed, <laughs> um, I will dye it for her. Um, she's also trying to give me a bunch of her own her, her fabric to dye because she has a bunch of plain fabric, but I need to figure out how I cannot let her give that to me for free. So we'll see. Um, because that's craziness. Anyways. Um, yeah, I, yeah, I'm just, I'm, I want to stitch on things I want to stitch on. And I will keep all of my whips, obviously. Um, I really don't want to, like, get rid of them on adopt a whip. That's way too much work. <laughs> um, but I need to, like, kind of, like, re-go through them. Because, like, right now, all my projects, for the most part, have a project bag. And there's ones that I do enjoy that I think I started... I don't know when I started them. I did a couple that, like, I put, like, one or two stitches in. Maybe I was just trying to, like, start Apocalypse. Yeah, but that ended up not working. <laughs> so, anyways. Um, but, yeah, so... Um, we're going to go up there and do that. I need to go through my whips, um, which honestly is another reason why I really wanted to, like, organize my craft room because, um, like, I still have stuff from, like, retreat out and about that I just need to, like, put away and, and you know, get out of the, my desk is just, like, there's just, like, floss and stuff just, like, thrown everywhere. It's wonderful. Um, also... Elena B. sent me cookies, and y'all, there's, I'll just, I'm gonna eat it right now, actually. Pause. Let me go find it. Super quick. Oh, it's right there. Okay, so, my sister was here earlier. And she had the chocolate chip ones, and she ate both of them. Freaking jerk. So, she packed them up in these adorable boxes. I told Alex I could save some for him, but so that was like the first little batch. Oops. Like, look at these, you guys. Those are like ginger molasses ones. Chocolate. And unfortunately... The mornings are really cold here, so they were a little bit hard, but I didn't even care, you guys. I didn't even care. They're so good. Like, now I really need to come down and see her so that I can try a fresh one, because if these ones were a little bit hard, being cold, and they're still amazing, I can't even imagine how her, like, freshly baked ones are. So those are, like, rainbow sprinkle. I'm going to try it right here on camera, you guys, because I'm so freaking excited for it. You guys don't even know. Okay, so there's the, oh no, there's the white chocolate macadamia. Those are Alex's. He called those. That's his favorite guy. Um, this looks like an oatmeal raisiny kind of one. You guys, are you getting very good now? Okay, so here's the thing. I've psyched myself up enough. That, like, now, if these aren't potato chips, like, I'm going to be really sad. Um, and if they're not, Elena, you need to make a cookie that has potato chips on it. They're potato chips. 100%. Okay. Are you guys ready for this? Cheers. Clink. Clink. It's really crummy. It's so good. I don't even know what's in it. I mean, it was it like there's like caramel. I 
and then the saltiness. I'm gonna need a minute. One minute. You guys, that's so good. I'm like, I mean, like, no joke. Um, like, they, when they got here, like, it was really cold that morning in our mailbox, because it's a giant metal box. Um, and so, like, they were kind of hard, and I was like, oh my gosh, no, like, I don't want her to be, like, so sad, but they're still so, like, they're still so good. Oh. You guys. I can't even. It's so good. So, Elena, I don't know if you do, if you ship cookies regularly, but. Oh, this one looks so moist. Um. If you guys can get your hands on cookies from Fillmore Break Shop, mind blown. Like, no joke, you guys. These are probably some of the best cookies I've ever had. And I'm not just saying that because only is my past future, future past roommate. I'm somewhat of a cookie connoisseur. Well, let's be honest. I'm somewhat of a food connoisseur, obviously. Um... Big girl knows her cookies. And, uh, these are freaking amazing. So, um, I'm gonna end this here so that I can go eat some more cookies and not be rude, um, on camera. But, um, yeah, I will see you guys next week. I will definitely take some pictures of, um, our trip to Acorns on Sunday because it'll be awesome. And I'll keep you guys updated on the saga of, um, the good lines because I'm so pissed you guys anyways cheers bye guys